Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to install version 2.3 H2 on your Windows 11 computer. And if you are receiving this error, which is 0x800702. So if you are receiving this error code, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to run update troubleshooter. Now for this, open Windows settings and then go to system and then scroll down click on troubleshoot over here now click on other troubleshooters over here you can see windows update click on run over here and once the troubleshoot is complete so let it complete first and once the troubleshoot is complete you can restart your computer and after the system restart you can try to update your windows 11 but still you're facing the problem then restart windows update and background intelligent transfer service for this type in services in windows search box and then click on services and then find windows update in the list at the end here you can see windows update make a double click on windows update set it to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted so if start is highlighted click on start and then click on ok now find background intelligent transfer service make a double click set it to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok Now, once this is done, try to update your Windows 11 once again. But still you're facing the problem, then use Windows 11 installation assistant. Now for this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Over here you can see Windows 11 installation assistant. Click on download now. And then run this exe file. Click on yes to allow. Now, if there is any pending update, it will let you know you will see install update option so in my case it's already installed so that's why there is no update but in your case if you see accept and install option install it you can use installation assistant to update your windows 11 once that is done you can restart your computer and after the system restart your windows 11 should be up to date now still you are unable to update in that case you can reset windows update components now for this copy all these commands these commands are provided in the video description you can copy the command till here till here you can copy the command and then open notepad on your computer so type in notepad in windows search box and then click on notepad now once you open notepad paste the command over here and then go to file now click on save as you can set the location as desktop and then name this file as wufix.bat and then for save as type select all files over here and then click on save now go to desktop here you can see wufix.bat file wufix file make a right click and then click on run as administrator so you have to open this file so make a right click on wufix file and then click on run as administrator make sure that you open this file as an administrator click on yes to allow and this will open command prompt window first of all it will stop all the back uh, all the windows update services and then it will run some scan so do you want to continue this operation press uh, type in y and then hit the enter key and let the process complete so it, in between if you see option like yes or no you can type in y and then hit the enter key so first of all it will stop all the windows update services and then it will run couple of scans now there are multiple scans so the scan process will take some time so let the scan complete let all the process complete this process will take some time once all the scans are complete it will restart windows update services and then once the complete process is done you can restart your computer so this process will take time and once that is done you can restart your computer and then try to update your windows 11 and that should fix the problem but still you are unable to update in that case you can use media creation tool so if nothing is working you can use media creation tool to update your windows 11 go to this website here also you will find media creation tool click on download now and then run this exe file click on yes to allow now this will load windows 11 media creation tool now click on accept by default windows 11 would be selected click on next select iso file then click on next you can save the location you can set the location as desktop and then click on 
save over here. Now, once the download is complete, click on finish and then go to desktop, find Windows ISO file, make a double click on Windows ISO file, then run the setup file, make a double click on setup file, click on yes to allow. This will load Windows 11 now. And here you can see install Windows 11, click on next. It will check for update, then click on accept. Again, it will check for update. Now, before the installation, you will see the screen which says ready to install and by default, the option to keep personal files and app would be checked. When this is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer. Click on install. After the installation, log into your computer. So, one of the steps shown in this video should help you to install version 2.3 H2 successfully on your Windows 11 computer. So, that will be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.